Hi everyone, I'm Miguel Blanca, E&M SIG Product Specialist for Southern California. Today I want to talk to you about the ball scan demo. This is a non-contact volume and mass flow rate measurement system. As you can see here, we have a 2D laser scanner that's taking a live cross-sectional area of these apples that are moving through the conveyor belt. By inputting the speed of the belt or using an encoder input to the sensor, we can then calculate the volume flow rate moving through the conveyor belt. Also, we can input the bulk density and then calculate the mass flow rate. This is a great solution to possibly replace traditional weight scale systems which require quite a bit of maintenance due to calibration. This is a low maintenance solution that does not need to be calibrated and then therefore increases productivity and reduces maintenance costs. Now we can take a closer look at the software which will also show us a live view of the sensor readings. Now we're going to take a closer look into the sensor software. Here I have the apple stationary directly under the laser scanner. I'm going to go ahead and remove two of the apples. And now you can clearly see that the volume and mass flow rate readings have decreased as well as the ball height measurement. I'm going to go ahead and place the apples back and now I'm going to go ahead and set the bulk solids into motion. Now you see a live view of the cross-sectional reading. I can also put my hand in front of the sensor and the sensor will actually track the center of gravity of the bulk solids. If I move my hand to the, towards the left the sensor will give me a warning telling me that my bell has slipped to the left. This helps me prevent bell slippage and mechanical wear and tear. In addition, the LMS ball scan is ready for outdoors operation. Its IP67 rating and its multi-echo technology allow the sensor to ignore factors such as dust, particles, rain, and other elements that are found in outdoor applications. For more information, please feel free to contact me.